She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not in. Hey, you guys, it's your girl Anissa, and welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to show you what I purchased. This is like my very first designer luxury purchase. I have never, um, in my wildest dream, I never thought I would have been like, yeah, you need this bag. <laughs> um, so what led me to buying this bag is that, um, YouTube, YouTube led me to getting this bag and I was like searching, you know, different websites, different YouTubers who specialize in luxury designer bags. And there was so many of them. And a lot of them had like, you know, their favorites, which ones they, uh, how, how, how they purchase it, what to look for when you're purchasing a, 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 a luxury design bag, um, what type of like, what type of, what type of feel you want for this bag? Like, is it an everyday thing? Is it just, just for like going out or what? You know, and I wanted, and I wanted to make sure I spend this amount of money very well, and it be an investment. So I contemplated for this for a good few months before I decided to purchase my very first on my very first designer luxury bag. So I have some favorites, but I noticed that the prices were like rising up to a exorbitant exorbitant amount um for some reason louis vuitton chanel christian dior balenciaga they're raising their prices all almost up to five to six thousand k because they want to maybe because the quality is improving i don't know the quality always been there of course but it seemed like it's it's going up and so i decided to try a different brand that i really wasn't into but then I kept doing my, like I said, I did my research and I land on St. Laurent. So this is where we at today. I felt like this bag personally is a classic. It's a timeless piece. I feel like every person should get this bag, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. I just think like if you want your very first on designer luxury bag, I think St. Laurent is the best way to go. Um, of course, their prices have risen up as well because of competitors but it's still a still pretty good decent price for designer level for designer level sorry so without further ado let's get into the main focus of the video so i already threw away the box they did not give me the original box because i ordered it from six i mean stacks sorry <laughs> stacks fifth avenue so i didn't get no like special um uh, bag from Saint Laurent, a box from Saint Laurent. It was a standard uh, brown package. That's it. And I, I wish I had filmed it earlier, but at the time I wasn't thinking of that. But it came like in a standard Saks Fifth Avenue box, and the retail price was like fourteen hundred. I could be wrong, but I'll leave all the information in the description in the description box down below. But the taxes was made it even higher to where it went up to almost $1,600. So yeah, the taxes really shot that bag all the way up. Um, so they did come with the original dust bag. So that's how you know I got it. I legitimately got it. All right. So I, like I said, I have my favorites. My favorites are Gucci. And I like the um, the Gucci and Balenciaga collection, but I like uh, just Gucci, just period. And then I also like um, the Christian Dior. And my favorites from them is the Book Tote and the Lady Dior bag. I like those two. And then the Louis Vuittons, the Never Fools. I need me a Never Fool. But like I said, this is about Saint Laurent. So, like I said, I had my favorites and stuff. And, like I said, the prices was just a little too high for my budget. So, I decided to try out St. Laurent. And here it is. So, I unloosened the strap so I wouldn't let it, so it wouldn't get um, all, you know, bunchy and, and and get any creases on it. So, that's why this strap is is uh, un, uh, unattached or unbuckled. 
Um, but yeah, so it comes with a very long strap, as you can see, right here. Okay. It does come with a tassel. Personally, um, I'm not feeling the tassel, mainly because I, it's a very tight fit to fit this underneath. So maybe when I get the strength to actually put it through here, I'll put it on this bag. But I took it off because it was so much work to get it on. But it does come with a tassel. And it says Saint Laurent right there. As you can see, Saint Laurent. All right, and so and it's all black. I love me a a basic black bag, regardless of the price. I love me black. I love black. It looks good on me. It looks good on everybody, but it looks good on me because I love it. And it has gold hardware, and it has the chevron print. Got the stitching, which is amazing. And um, it has one zip to open and close. Look at that. Oh, that's, that. When you hear that fresh zip, oh, amazing. And then, like I said, it's gold hardware. And it has the, the infamous YSL Eve Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent. And um, I already kept I kept the stuffing in because I don't want it to lose its shape. But what also led, led me to gravitate towards this bag was the structure of it, like the shape of the bag. So that is what probably led me to it because the bags that I were looking to purchase or potentially buy from, they didn't have, they had structure, but not the structure I was looking for. Like knowing me, I carry my bags every single day anywhere i go so when i'm going on a, somewhere this bag is going to go around my shoulder or across my chest you know and i want to make sure that i i um i want to make sure that it's capable of doing a lot of stuff that i require to do because like i said i carry my bags till it's done it's finito you know is that even a word i make that i made that up but that's what i say when I would say finish, it's finito. And I don't know if that's real or not, but it's whatever. So, um, that's one reason why I got it. Because I felt like when I do usually get bags, they tend to crease. They tend to get wrinkly over time, which happens with a lot of bags. Because after a while, it becomes to wear down and tear down. So, I got it because from the reviews, it says that it's pretty well, it's pretty, it's pretty accustomed to the wear, wear, wear and tear. But it's so it's structured so very well that it doesn't go down as easily as any other bags would go. So that's why I kind of went for this bag particularly. So inside, I'm take the stuffing out. Let's try to see if I can show you everything inside. So it's just one, just one empty space where you could put everything in there. And then it has the Saint Laurent sign that says "Made in Paris." So it says "Made in Paris" or Saint Laurent. I'm sorry, "Made in Italy." So Saint Laurent Paris, but it was made in Italy. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess that's where the headquarters are at. And then I feel like it has a decent amount. Now personally, I go for satchels or tote bags because I like to carry a lot of stuff, especially when I'm going to work and I need all my essentials when I'm going to work since I work nights. Um, so I usually prefer like a really big, like large space. But I I tried. I fit some of some of my stuff in here, and it it fit it fit pretty well. I was making sure it covered up all of it while bunching up at the top, which. I don't like um it, it hasn't done that yet but i noticed it tried to do that when i did put stuff in it so that that's why so i don't try to fill it up all the way i try to fill it up just around the the bottom or the corners so it can feel like it's completely like you know got its its maximum okay then it comes with a card basically telling you it's it's authentication um, where it came from, how it was made, blah, 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 this and that. Um, and it came, it gave me two of them. So I'm keeping it because, you know, you never know. I don't think I, I, I don't have plans on selling this. I mean, I literally got this bag this year, so I don't have plans on selling this anytime soon. But 
down the line if I like, okay, I decide I want to upgrade something. At least I'll have that information. As long as I keep that card, that's authentication right there for you. But I can't believe I have it. Like, I'm very shocked at myself because I avoided luxury bags for so long. Because I'm a coach girl at heart, okay? I love me some coach. You can't tell me nothing. I got maybe like 10 different coach bags. I've sold some over time, but I've had over 10 different coach bags. And I love them. I love them to death. But I wanted to delve into the 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 premium luxury or the designer luxury. And I wanted to see what it was like to be a bougie bitch on a budget. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick, small video. If you have any questions or if you need any uh, any links to how I purchase this or whatever, what websites or what YouTubers had gave me the ideas or, ideas or inspiration on getting this bag, I will leave their links in the description box down below as well as all my social media. So if you want to get in contact with me, I am on private on every single one of them because I do not like spammers. So if you want to contact me, you have to DM me and I have to accept it because I'm on private on every social media I have. So that's why. But other than that, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Bye.